There we go. Hmm. What? We're gonna play easy. This was like this was a game that Howard Phillips sought to, you know, trash in an interview. Went like went out of his way. Just say this this that he that he hated this game. And then he uh then he did the horrible defenders of Dinatron City. Or he executive produced the, the Defenders of Dynatron City, which was completely terrible. That's fine. This can also get to be a tough game, too. Great music, some pretty neat designs. It's gonna be it's gonna be music. It's very uh kind of uh, up there with some of the some of the Konami classics, I guess. There we go. 
There we go. This did get a release um, on the virtual console too. In the in the U.S. and in Europe. Um, I think it's on in, on one of the NSOs. I don't know. It might not be yet, but it should be. I think it might have just actually just re released on on uh on the NSO on Switch Online. Hey, future proof visuals. Yeah, this might have just released on Switch Online. Um, let me jog my memory on this. I don't know if it has. I don't actually I don't think so. But in any case. Yeah, it's not there yet. But, um, it's not there yet, but, you know, it's possible to, it is a, uh, it is definitely within the, within the realm of possibility for it to release on, on Switch Online. All right. Also, also, Konami. Back when they were good. <laughs> All right. I just, uh, future proof. I just beat Dungeon Magic. Um, and now I'm just sort of going through random, random NES things or random Famicom things as well. What is this? <laughs> There we go. That's what I wanted to get up to. Missed the other one. That's okay. There's always more milk.
That's what I was trying to get, do, is hitch a ride up there. go. Bottle. Bottle. There we go. Ah, got it. Got me again. There we go. Right in the face. So for anybody that just, just just came in or didn't catch the beginning of this, um, Biomiracle Bakate Opa was a game that Konami wanted to bring over in uh, 1989 as uh, as Babyland, uh, but Howard Phillips, in a Newsweek interview, pretty much rejected the game. Which is pretty much the rudest way that, you know, one could. Honestly, a bit un unprofessional. Considering that most of these, most of these things were handled, you know, kind of... Behind closed doors or whatever. And then had the nerve, a couple of years later, to produce not only, executive produced not only Defenders of Dinatron City, and the Wayne's World games, and uh, um, some of the Ren and Stimpy games, some of the worst Ren and Stimpy games. But, uh, yeah. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> kind of lords over a whole terrible era of, uh... of THQ. Honestly. Game over. Yes, continue. reason I thought that there was like a warp zone up there. But that's okay.
There we go. Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> We're locked in a... We're locked in combat again! Come on now. Oh, out of the way. Nice. There we go. these little Excellent. Good job. Good job, baby. I missed it. I think if I would have gotten over, um, oh no, gotten over far enough, I could have, uh, gotten something else back there, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh! Oh, there we go.
Bo... I think there's something up on that cabbage. Woo! Boozled. Right, this is what I was trying to do. Nope. <laughs> it's nothing. It's fine. It's fine! There we go. That's what I meant. Oh my gosh, what? Well, let's, let's, let's you know. Baby. Okay, we continue from the subworld. Good. It's not so bad. We just go back to, uh, to, uh, three points of life instead of five, which, which was, we had, which is what we had. All right. There we go. Apple. 
No. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. No. You know what game I still want to figure out on NES? Dr. Chaos. I like the design of it. And also the fact that your name is Michael Chaos. Rescuing your brother, Dr. Chaos. Peeps! How's it going, peeps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By a miracle. Peeps rated doing? the stream with 27 viewers. How was your stream, peeps? You're doing some Dungeon Maker. Ooh. I just finished Dungeon Magic tonight. Um, Wrap that up after... The, uh, the last third or whatever of frustrating blah blah grind. Uh, not really frustrating, just dull and mind numbing. <laughs> Luchira, how's it going? Oh my gosh. But yeah, now I'm just messing around with random stuff until uh, until I, 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 I wear myself out. Hello, thank you for the follow. Thou shalt guide our people into the new age of enlightenment. But yeah, usually I do uh, RPGs of all sorts, but I get into other things as well. Metroidvanias, platformers, first-person shooters sometimes, shmups, uh, whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm feeling. But most of the time, it's numbers go up in satisfying ways. Uh, so I'm checking out uh, Bio... So right now I'm checking out Bio Miracle Bakate Opa, um... Which was going to be called, which was at one point nicknamed Babyland. Uh, Konami made this one in 1988, and they were going to bring it to um, they were going to bring it to the U.S. Uh, but then they they were kind of rejected in public. Um, kind of an unprofessional move by Howard Phillips uh, by kind of dismissing this game. As, uh, as too simplistic or whatever for the market. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of, a, kind of a weird move. Yeah, it is good. It's, it is, it's really good. It was released on, there's a one-up. It was released on, um, on Virtual Console as well. And for whatever reason, I thought it was also on Switch Online, but not yet. But uh yeah, it's it's good it's a good game. But, yeah, uh right now I'm also working on uh pretty much interested in Shadowrun games. I'm also working on um the Hairbrain Schemes trilogy uh, on my weekends. Ooh yeah, yeah, Jahard uh, I'm thinking I'm I'm looking at my uh, I'm looking at my kind of my vision board for uh, for summer dungeons uh, next oh next uh, what is it next summer <laughs> summer dungeons next year and uh, oh 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 oh. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, there I've got a PC ninety eight game on there, not the screamer again. It's uh, let me get let me get this uh, let me get this up here.
the one I'm looking at is uh, Yuji Katai uh, Jashin Kumaro Ku. Yeah, this one right here, which is kind of a mix between, uh, which is looks like it's kind of a mix between uh, uh, Laplace Ma and uh, and Shimagami Sensei. Because it's modern time setting, but you're kind of a paranormal investigator. Uh, it looks really good. It looks really great. It's by it's by uh, Telenet as well, or Telnet, and uh, so so it's got some Wolf Team DNA involved. And uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it looks impressive from everything I've seen. Ooh, that'd be good. That'd be good. Yeah, this one looks. Everything I've seen about the about uh, Yuji Katai, uh, Yuji Katai looks really great though. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, but it's only in Japanese, so I'm gonna be have to have to be using like um, like a uh, um, like a Universal Game Translator or um, or like a, a, a text tractor or whatever. Looks great though. Looks fantastic. Excellent character designs, just all over the place. Just high quality stuff. Good menus. But yeah, I really want another. Another stab at a at a good Japanese uh, computer dungeon crawler, uh, just because I was so into everything about the screamer besides uh, besides the technical flakiness of it that you know I don't want to play something even better. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, um... Oh, who is it? Like, Mon Yu might be... Might fit that bill, but I don't know. I don't know. Mon Yu might be more traditional. Uh, along the, along the lines of the other experience games, but... I mean, it is kind of... The way it's, the way it's being sold is kind of, uh... Kind of has some, has some things going on. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. All right, I'm not gonna try to go for that one up again because uh, yeah, just piles and trash. Uh, piles of trash. Yeah, I like their games, but yeah, they 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 really could use some a better. A, Better, uh, snake? Oh no, I've had enough snakes for in, in games here recently. Trying to give me, uh, trying to give me dungeon magic PTSD again with, uh, with fighting snakes. Yeah. I like their games, but yeah, yeah, they, they uh, some of their stuff, some of their, the, the, mechanically, they can be kind of the same and very, uh, not as satisfying as, as you'd hope it, they would be. I think the best one that they managed to get done with that was, uh, Saviors, uh, Uh, saviors of, uh, Saviors with Sapphire Wings. Or the, the, the re the, basically the remake of Blue Chevalier. Well, 
Uh, speaking of uh, speaking of stuff that uh Hello, uh, yeah. I, s I saw that uh, Demon Gaze got delisted on a, c on a couple of markets, along with the Lost Child, and um, God Wars as well. I picked up God Wars um, just before it went off sale. It was it was only like four bucks for the last couple of weeks. It was it was on switch on oh, it was on the uh, the e shop. So I didn't want to pass that up. Oh. Yeah. I'm thinking that I'm thinking that. Uh, I mean, God Wars has already been republished. Um, yeah, in a way it is, but it's got some. It's got its own kind of unique lore flavor that I really like. Especially with regards to like all the you know kind of the El Shaddai connections and things like that. Right. Yeah. Like, I'm wondering who's gonna do the... Uh, I mean... Well, let me think. Who published the El Shaddai remaster? Could be them. Um, whoever did that. Yeah, they might get the Lost Child. Yeah, it's... Now, I got that, like, oh, way back when it came out, and, uh, I was, I was bragging on that game forever, so, hoping that, uh, hoping that it comes out again. Ugh. Well... There we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. All right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I like the designs of El Shaddai, and I like sort of the... The art design, the art, and the sort of the the weirdo narrative of El Shaddai, but uh, like a lot of character action stuff, I just the gameplay can be very intimidating for me. <laughs> like, it, like I have that with Devil May Cry, I have that with Bayonetta, I have that with a lot of those kinds of games. Just, I just get frustrated with it too easily. Which is a shame, because... Because so many of those games have, like, really cool designs. See if maybe I can. Oh, there we go. There we go. I have to really. I have to really gimmick some of these jumps. get it. It's okay. 
No, spikes. No, spikes. There we go. Vertical stage. No! There we go. Ah, I missed a heart. It's okay. That's not okay, though. <sighs> ah, it's Ice Climbers, too. Ice Climber babies. Good. Good. Great. Cool. Okay, good, good, good. We gotta fight this. Let me guess, we're gonna have to fight this uh, thing over. <laughs> oh no! 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 Oh, that's okay.
Alright. No. No! There we go. Let's wait for... Uh, this platform? No! So mean. How could you be so heartless, Ice Climber babies? At least I, um, I don't know. I don't know what I have as far as continues. Nope. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> or a grappling hook, at least. Bionic Baby Commando, the sequel. <laughs> Go ahead, great. There we go, there we go, we got it. You know what they could have called this if they did a uh, a remaster of this and after 1998, right? You know what they could have called this, right? They could have called it Super Baby Method. <laughs> think. Okay. Walrus! No. Dang it. Oh, come on. Oh. 
まあアーボンIt kind of reminds me of a mix between Turtles NES game and uh, and the the Little Babies TV commercial. There we go. Baby, because you know. Perfect. Is this a maze? I think it is a maze. Konami! Unexpected. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, no! I'm guessing I had to go vertical pretty much whenever I get the chance to. wonder. Yeah, it is like this. It is like, as soon as I go under, then it changes. So it's kind of one of those, this is kind of, this level is kind of a, um, uh, what is it? Which one is it? Six, four? Seven, four? We have to like, take things on in certain order as far as the As far as like over under type stuff in uh, in uh, in uh, Mario, let's see. There it is again. I mean, it's nothing for me to. I'll just put this to the test by going low at first. Looks like. Looks like I'm right. Yep.
So I'm gonna go up. I'm going to go down again. I think we want to go down again. And no, we do not. Maybe we do. Maybe that. Maybe the rest of those are just whatevers. Maybe. Dead. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Continue, yes. Alright, so we go. Honestly, what happens if we try going. Oh no, we can't really go high right now. Can we? No, we can't. I do wonder what would have happened if we would have tried to go, if we wouldn't have been able to go under the, uh, the upper ledge. I'm very tempted to test this out in multiple ways. So I'm just gonna go down and start over and wait for a thing. Yes. No, let's just check this out. Uh huh. Uh huh. Who has a shortcut? So this is neat. I mean, most of this game is really neat, but this part in particular is whoa. Kind of warps me to another part of the maze. Drops me down into dangerous baby area. Props me back up again. Well. Or just... Gets me back to the, uh... Back to the boss. Mm. 
Mm. All right. Yeah. Fall off. Yeah. Got him. Give me the loot. That's right. <sighs> Upside down, baby, no! This is dangerous. Very dangerous. The baby is more powerful than the hero in Dungeon Magic. Baby probably wouldn't even have to... It's just too powerful. But also very susceptible to falling in holes. Especially holes that are upside down. I like that the baby does not take fall damage. just takes fall embarrassment. There we go. Good. All right. Oh. Now I have to fight this this thing upside down. That's okay. We can do this. Got him. Why did you stick me to the ceiling? What? What fire?
I wonder if there's some way I could, like, sneak up there. Using one of the, uh... Using one of the... Little henchman things. Rat, 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 rat. for it. Wait for it. Come on now. No! <laughs> I was trying to get to that thing. Well, this means I can test something else. Let's try it. No! Oh, darn. We, 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 we gave it our shot. We gave it a shot. That's cool. It's cool. No. No! That's okay. We can get a we we can get a one up eventually. We just have to beat this snake. Beat the snake. Big jerk snake. Big jerk snake. There we go. There we go. One up. Alright, let's try getting this. Let's try getting this thing here real quick. Cause... No? There we go. One up. Oh. For whatever reason. Oh. Ooh, I got another. No. No. No, just two one ups. World clear. World clear. World five one. 
Conveyor belt, baby. In the baby factory. The place where... Place where babies are melted down to pencils and erasers. I'm sorry. It's just what I saw. And rulers. Boxes. And blue, whatever that is. Wait, what's back here? Do I fall down? What do you want me to... What do you want me to do, video game? There we go. Okay. Okay, good. Blue. Yes. 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 Give me the box. Give me the loot. Those, those flying diapers? I think they are. I think they're... Oh, disgusting.
All right. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. No. There we go. One more. Ah. Come on now. There we go. Got him. Give me my money. Swimming baby again. Baby. Baby. Baby deals with the unbearable pressure of seawater. And deep undercurrents. Baby being hunted by a monster shark. There we go. <sighs> well, what's next? What is next for this horribly scientifically mutated baby? Oh, the land of baguettes and milk. Wait. And the land of... Soft locks. The land of getting uh, uh, destroyed by cake.
That's the true super baby method right there. And that's the... That's the baby can't jump method. And that's the... What? What are you doing get, getting stuck in metal plates? What is that? Quick baby sand? The unbearable weight of being tall, baby. Baby strikes again. No, uh... Baby's final insult. Yeah. Well, this was before Kirby. <laughs> this was about uh, four years before Kirby. And Konami wanted to bring it over, and Nintendo rejected it. Howard Phillips rejected it in a Newsweek interview, in fact. Yeah.
Uh, well, this level is. I mean, there's a few levels that are kind of dig dug boulder dash like, and there's some levels that are kind of platforming, and there's some levels that are swimming. Um, yeah, that's a neat, it's a neat platformer, especially for like 1988. Nice. All right, extra life. Oh, come on now. There we go. That's what I was trying to get, was... Oh! Well. Yeah! Yeah, this is, uh... I mean, I guess I understand why the, why the character design would have been a hard sell, but... Still, game mechanics. It's pretty good. Bird. Bird. All right. Okay. So we do have a bit of... Okay. So I could spring then. Wasn't sure if. There we go. Mm. Mm. There we go. Got it. That's what I was aiming for. Now, if I could only get over this... Yeah, this must be, like, nearly the... almost the last level. Good. Good. I missed, uh... I missed a pickup. Oh, well. It's okay. It's okay. We're fine. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. What? Come on. There we go. One up. Give me the loot. Clear. What do we got next? 7-1. Apocalyptic. No, nope. no. I thought we were going to be like. Got some monster baby level? Come on. Come on, Konami. You know you want to do it. Now that I'm remembering right, there is like eight worlds. I don't know what could be. I don't know what could be the last one, though. Baby, 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 baby. Everything is luck here. All right. Or having enough health to, you know. Kind of make it. Alright, when I get to that last one, what I want to do is make sure I'm all the way over to the other side. Because I'm going to take a bunch of damage falling down. There's just, you know, no way to avoid that, really. There we go. There we go. All right, boss time. Maybe. Oh, oh, it loops. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Loot. are shooting at the baby? How dare you? It's horrible. Violence against babies. Um... There we go. There we go. Glide. Uh, glide. What is this? Is this my the guy that I'm gonna have to fight? Looks like a baby hater. Oh 
like his whole livelihood is based on you know burning down orphanages or um you know whatever it is he does Looks like a guy that'll foreclose on a on a on a baby's first house to open a bank and trust in its place. That's what the, that's what that guy looks like. On. <sighs> well, I think I just have to wait for the wait for the thing to. No. Baby. Milk. Loot. There we go. Super patient with this. Not rush it in. Baby. No. Getting torn up. Last chance, baby. You make it count. Baby frustrations. Ah. Uh. No. No. Time out for baby. We gotta hurry. No. Got him. <laughs> Six seconds left. <laughs> Had to think fast. Be quick on the draw. Or else baby would fail. No! Oh my gosh, that was a, that was a close one. Oh, 
Alright, All right, there's, um... Fire... Fire... Fire Festival, baby. Beep, 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 beep. Aha, uh -huh, B. I know. I'm dead. Wow. Well, we 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 baby. But that's okay. That's okay. Always another day for baby. Always another day. I'm guessing I should be going this way then. Or another heart. So what's it gonna be? Place your bets now. Baby goes to space. Or... Baby fights uh, a corporation. Or baby guts monster uh, uh, level. For the final level. Or baby fights Metal Gear. Space Baby? I think it's gonna be Space Baby too, but uh Wow. All the way back at the beginning too. It's a huge level. If it's gonna be water. We've already had water. I think we're gonna have. I think we're gonna take baby to space. Because that's timely, right? I 
Or maybe baby breaks into a haunted castle? I don't know. Baby fights Dracula? I mean, it's obviously gonna be against the evil baby hating goat man. But, um. Gotta figure out, like, in what capacity will that battle take place? Oh, missed the other one up. That's okay. That's okay. We got this. E. 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 <laughs> maybe it'll be baby. Uh, may, maybe it'll be uh, baby post apocalyptic. Baby, um, baby beyond Thunderdome. Archive, how's it going? E. Oh no. Oh wow, okay. Back of the head. No! Oh my gosh, I can actually... <laughs> the... <laughs> e wonder if there's a reason to get up there. I don't think there is. If I die again, and I probably will. I will check it and see. Have you played this one, card to Biomiracle Bakute Upa. A famous Konami game. Mostly because... Howard Phillips took the unprofessional step of, uh... Of, of rejecting it in the press. Yeah, well, Howard Phillips was an idiot. <laughs> Howard Phillips also executive produced Defenders of Dinatron City, Wayne's World, and uh, a couple of the worst uh, uh, Ridden Stimpy games. So, what, what the fuck does he know? Yeah, yeah. It's just completely low grade behavior as far as just ripping that one in the press. It's actually really good though. As far as platforming goes, it's it's really uh it's you know Really one of the better ones out there. And, um, yeah, yeah, no, you're right.
There we go. Oh yeah, I messed up and I was supposed to do that again. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, that, that's a that's another can of worms as far as uh, you know, Konami being in weird situations because you know. A lot of their stuff it was so a lot of their stuff was so tightly wound and you never really heard about it. Like the stuff that they had to deal with that people had to deal with working for them, you know, was so tightly wound that uh not a lot of that really got out, so. Until it was like way, way after the fact. Not just, not just like, you know, of course, all the most famous stuff with, oh, here we go, here we go. Most famous stuff with, like, you know, Igarashi and, and, and Kojima, but also, you know, folks like, stuff like their composers not getting proper credit and stuff like, you know. Great flashing, thank you. <laughs> Sorry for the flashing. I should have expected it. I mean, it could be worse. <laughs> it could be Kid Clown. Okay, never mind. It is. It's just about as bad as Kid Clown. <laughs> Holy crap. Sorry, y'all. Mm. <laughs> yes. The there we go. We'll see. As long as I'm, as long as I'm tagging them. There we go. We got him. We, we, we murdered the goat that hates babies. Yeah. 
Anyway. Congratulations, Oopa. Um... Some of them do. Thanks to you, everybody has started to enjoy... Everyone has started to enjoy living there again. Thanks, Son of Agoda. Programmer, Anayamada. Cartoon, did you know that no, that I cannot find any credits whatsoever on uh, on on Dungeon Magic? Programmer, shortcut Ada. Like they don't exist. Nobody worked on that game or admits to work on want to work on that game. Like I even looked in in on like Japanese pages. Bon bon Morata. It's a little weird just because I want to like figure out where the people that worked on it went. Ginny Okada. Papa Hitomi. A lot of programmers on this one. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, or Mama Chan. Or K Chan. Although some of this stuff is more is more easily researchable. Especially if like, you know, a lot of names were reused in other credits and on more famous games. Like figuring out who Moo or Bo is super easy nowadays. I mean, compared to this, I mean, compared to compared to that, those mysteries. I mean, this is this should be a lot easier. I mean, let's see. Nakabur. Especially because a lot of the Konami credits, you know, when with the with the um, like as far as the NES stuff and there and the '80s arcade stuff and. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the, 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 um... You know. A lot of the pseudonyms were, you know, common between other games. Gazirurul. I think. Oh, yeah. Well, the character design is still a mystery, but, um, uh, Yoshiaki Yamada worked on this, uh, H. Ada worked on this, uh, Shiro Murata worked on this, um, Yasuo Okada, Windy Hitomi, uh, Kozo Nakamura, uh, Koji Murata. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was like uh, a lot of these were common uh, were common uh, pseudonyms, um, other than the character designers. Thank you very much for playing. Good night, Upa. Presented by Konami.